What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to the highly anticipated Punishing Great Raven. Now before we begin, today's video is brought to you by Punishing Great Raven. So if you do like what you see, you want to download the game yourself, please do so using my referral links below this video. So let's kick this off as we always do, starting off with the heroes that you can collect. Now as you guys can see, Punishing Great Raven is employing this nice blend between technology and fantasy when it comes to the overall aesthetic. And my favorite character has got to be me like take a look at this technology energy chainsaw buzzsaw sword looking thing you ain't never seen a weapon like this before you have you lying <laughs> you're not well you know what i ain't never played that game before so it don't count and the to top it all off feel the nun pheromone vibes that she's eating off you love to see now the very first character you get in the game is going to be lucia take a look at some of her skin options that i'm showing in a very specific order for dramatic effect Oh my goodness, if this is daybreak, I never want to see nighttime ever again. And to top it all off, free to play. By the way, you love to see. Um, here's the next character that you get. Um, just via the story, these top three characters are going to be the characters that kind of get you acclimated with the game's controls and combat and whatnot. Um, beyond that, here are a few previews of some of the characters that are also in the game. We will be doing a summon session a little bit later, but I feel very confident saying that, that you'll definitely be able to find a character that fits your preference here in PGR. Very, very nice. All right, so that was a nice little look at the hero slash constructs. Now it's time to see those said characters in combat. Now, when it comes to the gameplay here in PGR, it's broken up over several different categories. You have story, which we're gonna be tackling in this video. You have your tried and true resource grinds. You have challenge war, which I highly recommend as soon as you have this unlocked to tackle it as soon as possible because it teaches you some more nuance of the combat and it gives you a lot of really great rewards. And then you also have events, which I haven't unlocked just yet. That's going to unlock at level 35. So welcome to combat here in Punishing Grey Raven. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the basics. But like I mentioned before, you definitely want to do that challenge war so you kind of understand more of the nuance. Now, when it comes to the buttons, very straightforward, right? You got a basic attack here. Very, very nice. You have dodges. <laughs> and I love my little sound effect that comes with it. And you also have these pings, which represent a skill. Now, this is going to make more sense once we actually get some enemies on the board. So let's go ahead and talk to our NPC here and get some enemies going. Now, as you're doing basic attacks, as you're doing basic attacks here, you will uh, continually generate different colored pings. Now, these pings represent different types of skill effects. Now, just to be very generally speaking, the skill effects kind of go as follows. Blue tend to be buffs. Yellow tend to be abilities that kind of knock enemies down or break armor. And red tend to be damage abilities. Now, in order to do the most damage possible, you want to align and have three pings of the same exact color in a row, right? So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and do some damage here, build up some pings. Keep on going here. Now, there's nothing telling you in this game that you have to have three all the time. Now, having three in a row allows you to do the most damage possible. But if you want, like I said, you can do two blues here, one yellow. Now I have three red in a row. Now I can do that maximum damage. So, you know, trying to do this little song and dance between generating pings, knocking out some of your ones that only have one or two or three to align some of your bigger damage moves is what you're really gonna be trying to do as you kind of traverse the combat here in PGR. So once again, do some damage here. Try to get out of the red at the last second. If you do that, if you trigger this little slowdown mode, every single one of your single pings actually represents a triple ping. So that gives you a ton of damage as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my little ultimate here just for the sake of the YouTube. This puts me in a nice little, nice little shield here. Very, very nice. So that's kind of combat here in PGR. I'm gonna do a little bit more because it is very fast. Don't say it, FG. It is very fast and furious when it comes to combat here. And the more you play it, the more the nuances and the, like I said, the song and dance of combat really starts to come to life here. All right. So now we're gonna do a little less talking, a little bit more dominating here. So, oh, really? <laughs> that was so rude. All right, I'm actually getting completely, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take out the ads here. Let's be smart. Take out the ads, very, very nice. Try to build up three 
pings of my, oh, we're good, we're good. And what I can also do, once I build up three blue pings, I can actually summon my healer. She doesn't switch in, she just comes in and gives me a quick heal. Now I can always switch in characters if I choose to, but I just like really using her a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And guess what? We're about to switch here in one second. Lucia, welcome to the party. Very, very nice. Give me a heal. I don't need to waste those, but you know what? It just feels good to do. <laughs> very, very nice. All right. Oh, get out of that, FG. <laughs> and I am playing on keyboard and mouse. And here comes the ultimate, Lucia's ultimate. Tons of combo points here. Let's get rid of our blue, switch to our yellow. Get out of that. Once again, pro time in FG. When I'm not doing talking, I'm doing some gaming. <laughs> you see it. Okay. Group up our red. Oh my goodness. We can switch her in just for a second. Like I said. Very, very nice. Oh, out there at the very last second. Very nice. And once again, I am so far down on battle power on that one. Very, very cool. All right, well, that's enough combat. Like I said, get into the game yourself. Start playing around with it. Understand the nuances of it. It is a very satisfying combat system. So that is your meat and potatoes, right? That's gonna be your main story mode there. And like I said before, daily resource grinds, challenge war events. Um, there's also hidden stages, not to be confused with hard mode. I know it looks like a hard mode, but actually these stages kind of give you uh, a different type of gameplay view of the same stages you did before. So I like the fact that they actually did call them hidden because they are hidden and a little bit different. Um, so that is gonna be the majority of your gameplay over there in your battle mode. In addition to that, since the game just launched, you also have these novice missions as well. Every single day you log on, you know, accomplish you know, going through the story, enhancing your characters, etc., etc. You're gonna get tons of goodies, bonuses, different weapons. Looks like a free skin here as well, so you definitely love to see that. Um, in addition to that, since the game once again just launched, every single day you log on, on day seven, you are gonna get yourself a free Bianca. This goes all the way up to 14 days, all types of goodies here as well. So, so far, so good when it comes to Punishing Grey Raven. Like I said, a very fast, fluid, and satisfying combat system. Loading times are near non-existent when it comes to going through the menus and whatnot a lot of different global launch rewards that are going on login bonuses etc etc um but of course let's end this off as we tend to do when it comes to first impressions over here in the summon session so there are a few different things that you can summon here you kind of have like a general summon pool here which we're not going to do you have a thing called focus research which allows you to basically kind of set up a wish list on which um kind of drops your looking for once again we're not going to do that either same thing here weapon research that's a general pool where you don't have a wish list set and then right now you have an event here with lee so i'm going to go ahead and do this one go ahead and confirm and let us do a nice little summon session and let's see what type of goodies await all right and then i'll show you what the upgrade process looks like as well Okay, okay. A lot of things I don't really fully understand yet, but don't you worry, I'll get there eventually. Who's this? Oh, this is gonna be one of the memories here. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And then this is orange. There you go, Lucia. I think it's the other version of Lucia, but I can't be 100% sure. Let's take a look at that here in a second. Very, very nice. There goes a shard for Inver. And that is my full summon session there. So let me, like I said, this is my first time doing a summon. So I'm not exactly, yeah. So we did unlock the other version of Lucia. So this is the Lucia version that we all get just by playing the game. And then this is the one that I just pulled out of that summon there. 
So I'll show you what the upgrade process looks like. So train, very straightforward. You have different types of EXP juice that you can pump into the character. So right off the bat, I can get this character to a usable uh, state instantly out of the gotcha. She's level 26, ready to go, very straightforward. Um, based on where I am at the story, I can also rank them up. Um, this is once again, dependent on the story, dependent on the level of the construct. And you also use cogs, which is basically this game's equivalent to gold to level up that said character. Evolve, this is where duplicates of the character is gonna come in handy. So you can use these shards to increase their class level. So just because a character starts off at B class doesn't mean they stay B class. And then of course your skills, these can be improved by using the daily resource grind to just kind of farm for skill points and then pump them into said respective character. So very easy upgrade process as soon as you like I said as soon as you basically get a character out of the gotcha you can throw them in your lineup instantly which I absolutely love to see um, but that is let's take a look at her her codings real quick <laughs> just just real quick like all right very 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 nice and in addition to all that you also have memory which is very straightforward um as you guys can see memory is broken up into six different slots one two three four five six and these memories can only be plugged into their respective slot so this for example right over here is ike it's a two or four piece set so if i equip this right over here it can only go into the one slot and if i have a number four right over here i can equip this this becomes a two set bonus, as you guys can see. Now all my damage increased by 2% and elemental damage increased by 4%. And that's basically how memory works. Very reminiscent to runes and relic systems in other games there. And then once you have it equipped, you can also upgrade it by using some of your fodder material here. Nice little quality of life where you can just hit um, select all, hit enhance, up it goes once it's maxed out you have a little thing called overclock and then there is another resource once again that's available in the resource grinds which allow you to overclock said gear to increase its max level that's the same exact thing that you're going to do when it comes to weapons as well so upgrade your weapon hit it to the max level overclock it rinse and repeat on so so that will do it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls once again thank you so much to punishing gray ravens for sponsoring this video if you like what you saw and you want to download the game yourself please do so you my referral links below this video i will be back as i unlock more and more gameplay modes events gotchas all that good stuff until then i'm out and i'll see you guys in the next video later